Um, so yeah, we're doing something a little bit different uh, this time. We're asking applicants to anonymize their resumes and cover letters, basically removing any reference to their names or other aspects of their identity. Um, and the reason for this is just to make sure that we are as inclusive as inclusive in this hiring process as we can be. Um, you know, we are always really excited when we see people from uh, different backgrounds apply for spots here at Sunlight, but uh, we're also aware of the fact that there's pretty good research indicating that um, unconscious bias can affect screening decisions. And we want to just try and take that out of the equation. Um, so, you know, we're, we're hoping that this leads to a more diverse pool of applicants. You know, I'll, I'll be honest, in the past we have wound up with uh, fewer women and people of color in the selection pool than we would like. And um, I, I'm hoping that this effort improves that. Um, with that said, I do want to be clear that, you know, we aren't going to do a, a blind uh, hiring process start to finish. Once we get into the interview process, uh, we're not going to make people stand behind sheets or anything like that. So um, this is really about doing the initial screen, getting a pool of people we're excited about, um, and then we're going to talk to them and probably inevitably discover a little bit more about them. Okay. Well, that's that's fantastic that y'all are doing that. I know it's uh, a pretty big issue, uh, not just in uh, civic technology, but throughout the, the technology industry. 